Hello friends, welcome back. It's Jim O'Rear, and I'm bringing you another episode of Collectibles from My Closet, this time featuring Sam from Trick or Treat. And if you are not familiar with Sam from Trick or Treat, where have you been, first of all? Uh, but he's, he's this adorable little character from the, uh, the 2007 film uh, Trick or Treat, which actually didn't get really pushed out anywhere until 2009 after a two year delay because for whatever reason, people were afraid of this movie. They say it's because of the killing of the kids in the movie and, and stuff like that. But I do not like horror anthologies. Trick or Treat is a horror anthology and I actually like it. I love Trick or Treat and I love the character of Sam. And Sam, if you don't know, is this little creature that uh, walks around in orange, dirty, footy pajamas with a burlap sack over his head. And he always shows up when somebody in the story violates a Halloween tradition. And it usually does not work out well for that person. So you really need to see this movie if you haven't. It's a, it's a horror comedy, super cute. And this character that just shows up a few times has become this like, cult icon for Halloween. So anyway, I thought I would show you uh, some of the Sam collectibles that are out there from Trick or Treat, and this is not anywhere near uh, the number that are out there, but these are just a few of my favorites in my collection. And I wanna start out with this hat here. This is a, a, a Sam hat. Let's take a little closer look at it. So this is a hat that Fright Rags released. And you see it's got, uh, you know, Sam right there on the front. Over here on the bill, it has the eaten piece of candy sucker that he uses as a weapon. And then uh, on the back, it's got this uh, mesh material, uh, large mesh material with the, the movie logo on it, right above the little, little clasp and tightener there. And uh, it's a really comfortable hat and really sturdy hat. That, that brim on that hat is solid. And to go along with the hat is the limited edition Trick or Treat t-shirt. And uh, I, think they only, I think they only made like a, a thousand of these. And Fright Rags came out with these. And they are, uh, they, they were released as a limited edition with a, uh, a mask that comes with it. And uh, we'll let you take a little closer look at the, the mask, which is done like the old style Halloween masks that I wore when I was a kid. Again, you'll see this is a release from Fright Rags. This is the box that the, the mask comes in. It says the limited edition t-shirt and ventilated mask. And right there, you can see the pumpkin head version of Sam. And uh, this comes in this box, kind of like we used to get as a kid that had the little plastic mask with the plastic clothes inside of it. And then um, down here on the bottom, they have it marked that it is limited to 1,000 pieces, and I have a men's extra large because my belly is big. And then when you open the box, uh, you'll see that, yes, the, the mask and that little silver thing through the eyes is just tying him into the box. It's not part of the mask. But uh, you'll see it's made like the old, uh, the old masks from when we were kids and, and ran around the neighborhoods in these little cheap plastic masks. And, uh, and I love that about it. it uh, it's very vintage and traditional, which the movie focuses on Halloween traditions. Now to go along with all that fashion sense, I have one of Sam's murder weapons right here, the little jack-o'-lantern lollipop. And uh, I got this at, uh, at Spirit Halloween, actually. And uh, well, here's what it looks like a little closer. This is just a replica of the weapon that Sam uses in, uh, in the movie, or one of the weapons anyway. It's the uh, jack-o'-lantern candy sucker uh, that he has sharpened with his bite right there. And uh, I picked this up at Spirit Halloween just as a, a costume prop, and uh, it, it's really neat. It's, it's a pretty solid little piece and fun to have uh, just because it's, uh, it's Sam, and you can pretend to be him with it. And now, let's take a look at a few of the little collectible toys, like this little item from Trick or Treat. 
This is a mini bust that Trick or Treat Studios came out with. They, they came out with several different monsters, um, classic monsters from Universal, Leatherface, stuff like that. And uh, they actually did a Sam right here. And you can see it's pretty detailed as far as texturing with the, the texture of the burlap sack and the, the cloth pajamas. Um, pretty neat little job there. Um, and you'll see here it's uh, right there sculpted by Alexander Ray from Trick or Treat Studios. And uh, this is what it looks like on the back, but uh, but pretty neat. And then uh, you know just a neat little touch with the with the rope that ties around his neck. Now, if you are a living dead doll collector, uh, you got to have one of these. Uh, of course, you know it's typical living dead doll. And uh, but it doesn't quite work with Sam because Sam is already a cute character, and living dead dolls take monsters and make them cute. So since he starts out being cute, he's no cuter as a living dead doll, but uh, but it's still pretty neat uh, to, to have there, uh, just as a, a living dead doll version of Sam, and I haven't taken him out of the box because I, I, I like the packaging, they, they do some, some neat packaging, uh, but you can see here on the back that he also, inside the box, comes with a little burlap sack as well as the, uh, the sucker weapon in his hand right there. And, I don't know, one day maybe I'll take him out and, and set him up on the shelf. But, uh, not today. Today he stays in the box. Now, similar to that was one that Mezco released. And this is a, a, a another giant, kind of plushy version. It's And it's I call it a baby doll version. It's the, the classic baby doll shape and form, just dressed as Sam with a burlap lap sack. And if you look at pictures of him online, you'll see there's his little burlap sack down there, as well as his weapon. Um... If you look at pictures of, of this item online, you can see him without the burlap sack on as well, and it's the uh, it's the pumpkin head face that's under there as uh, as sort of a baby doll. And again, maybe one day I'll take him out of this box and set him up as well and take a look at his face, but I haven't wanted to do that because, uh, again, I, I like this giant box that, that he sits in. Um, now... It, Nika came out with several figures, and everybody tells me I say that wrong. I say Nika, and they say, no, it's Nika. But I, I don't care. I, I say Nika. Um, and these are a few of the versions of Sam that they released. They, they did this one, which is just sort of a, a really hard form plastic uh, version of him. And it's got, uh, you know, little pumpkin accessories and weapons in his hands. And then they came out with another version. I think this was maybe the ultimate version or something like that. And it had different heads you could pop on him, uh, different hands, um, another weapon, some pumpkins. Um, and uh, it came with a little little separate uh, sack there. Uh, and I just happened to have his, uh, his pumpkin head on right now. But you can swap him out and make him look like... All, all different versions of, of Sam in the movie. But my favorite one they came out with was the cloth diversion. And this is him, and I just, I don't know what it is about him, but I love him to death. He's one of my favorite figures out of my entire collection. And uh, he's got the dirty little pajamas, the burlap sack, the burlap on his head, the, the weapon in his hand. And I keep him sitting on top of a vampire skull for no reason at all just because I like to see him sitting there so there's the Nika or NECA versions of uh, of Sam in their little small figure line now I'm a coffee drinker and my favorite mug is this right here it's got Sam on one side and this is a really good size mug I got this from Spirit Halloween and you'll look here it holds an entire bottle of water so if you're trying to track how much water you drink and how many bottles you're supposed to have for health reasons really good way to do it um it uh it holds an entire bottle of water which means that's a good amount of coffee too but it's got the trick-or-treat logo on the back here and sam on the front and i actually have a, a couple of these so when one gets dirty i can i can use the other one now funko pop is big with collectors and of course they make a pop out of everything they've probably made a pop out of my dog i, I don't know uh, so of course they have a sam pop and this is him right here and it's not incredibly cool but it's neat uh especially if you're a sam collector the the one that they came out with though for spirit halloween is is much cooler i really like it this is it and it's got him sitting in a little classic pose from a lot of the promotional pictures with the pumpkin and the, the sack next to him 
And uh, I just really loved the look of this one, and yeah, I, I had to take him out of the box and put him on my shelf. This is what it looks like on, on the back. Um, but uh, but I, I actually think that's a, a much cooler pop than the original one that they released. Now this next item, I don't really know what it is. I don't even remember where I got it, but it's a, it's a wooden coin. It's just a, it's a piece of wood cut in a circle with this Sam image on it that says, always check your candy. And um, like I said, I don't know what it what it is, what it's for, or even why I have it, but it had Sam on it, so I got it. Now, they came out with a lot of body knockers in different uh, horror characters, and a body knocker is a solar-powered toy. You can see the little solar-powered window right there. And it's got a button on the side, and when you push the button now, this has been sitting inside on a shelf, so there's no power in it at all, but I'll rock him here. There you go, and he, he dances back and forth to solar power all day long and if you turn him around backwards you can see him uh, shake his little booty butt all day long there you go you're welcome another one of my favorite Sam things is this which I also got from Spirit Halloween this is a plushy Sam and I just think he's adorable uh, Got the, the burlap sewn up there. Uh, there's the Spirit Halloween trick or treat logo. Got the, the bag. And, and this is a neat detail. His footy pajamas have slip protection. You notice that? It has <laughs> slip protection on his footy pajamas. Interesting detail that, that they put on him. I, I don't know why, but, uh, but it's cool. Uh, I would not have thought to put slip proof stuff on him. So <laughs> there's a plushy Sam. And there you have it. Just a few of the collectible items and toys based on Sam from the Trick or Treat anthology movie. And I hope you, you liked looking at some of those, enjoyed seeing some of them. Maybe you've seen some, maybe you haven't. But that's what this whole collectibles from my closet show is about, is, uh, is showing you new stuff or things you may have forgotten about. So I do hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked the video. If you did, click that little like button on the video. Just bing, and let me know that you liked the video. And if you do like the video and want to see more, also click that subscribe button and that will subscribe you to my channel. And when you come on to YouTube, new things will pop up and tell you, hey, there's a new video on this channel. And I upload a new video about every three or four days. So I want to thank you for watching another video with me and I will see you next time.